So the next step on the battery case, uh, to kick it up a notch on its cosmetic appearance before we decide to assemble it, is uh, I'm going to essentially shoot all of these parts with the, uh, the base color of the car, and then we'll go back and resurface the top to remove that paint. Then I will clear coat all these parts completely in the Spies Hecker automotive grade clear, and this is how it's gonna look. We tested it on this piece here, where we uh, shot the base inside, and then we resurfaced the top to give it just a beautiful polished look like that. And then I cleared everything in the speeds and this dried overnight how look how beautiful it is. So this is gonna be the way the entire battery case is gonna look. Pretty awesome. All right, so I've been working on a little surprise for the owner. I told him I was gonna do something a little extra nice for him because he did some good things for me. And so uh, what you can see here is I've taken this aluminum piece and this is now being shot in, uh, so I sandblasted it, and then we shot it in the same base coat paint as the, the outside of the Mustang. And then we're gonna run these back through the mill and machine off the flat top parts. So it'll leave the, the color in the inserted pieces. Then the whole thing will get uh, very double, double clear coated with the Spies Clear. And uh, it will be a spectacular, beautiful battery with the contrasting parts like that. So he didn't ask for that. He doesn't know it's being done. So I think he's gonna be pretty pleased. Well, the clear coating's done. Let's see how it turned out. Whoa, awesome, spectacular. I know, I know, I did it myself, so of course I'm gonna think it's gorgeous, but I think that is gonna be a breathtaking battery case. When you raise the hood of this sweet looking lightning rod and you look in there, you're gonna go, yes! I need to call Bloodshed Motors right now. So here Jack has installed O-ring gaskets. They're gonna be used as part of the water cooling system to seal it. And this plate is exactly like this one, and now he's screwing down the cover so it'll compress against the O-ring gaskets and give us that water type seal so the liquid can circulate and that's how the cooling plates work. All right, so what you're looking at here is this is a cooling plate and this is a cooling plate and this. So these three cooling plates, all the cells will be standing up in this direction with the plates that will conduct the heat out to one of these three cooling plates. All right, the first part of assembling this pack is now being completed. You actually assemble the pack upside down. So if we look underneath here, if we zoom in, you can see the tabs actually sticking down. The bottom will actually be the top. And so this is actually the bottom. But anyway, I love the way the, uh, <clears throat> the burgundy paint and the clear coat looks on this pack. Very nice, very, very, very nice.
Nobody bends any tabs. All right, so the top was taken off, uh, the screws placed in, reinstalled, which is always a job to get these tabs back through. And now the bend over and plate down process has started. And so I've got to be careful, obviously, these are live. And uh, so this is how this will look. And then there'll be another black edging that goes around here. Uh, it's made of a non-conductive material, a Lexan top, and that'll be the complete front battery. Uh, obviously, we have to do the terminals and so forth, but uh, thought I'd give you a look at how it's coming.